This is pre-calculus concept 20a. We're going to be looking at some properties of logarithms, um, specifically the product and quotient rules in this lesson. So the product rule, box 1, is uh, straight from your book here. And it basically says that if you have the log of a product of two numbers, that you can actually break that product up into its individual factors, but then you would add the individual logarithms. So the sentence here at the bottom is key. The log of a product is the sum of the individual logs. All right, I'll do, give you an example so we can refer to this. Uh, let's do log base 2 of 32. And I'm going to state that that's equal to the log base 2 of uh, 4 plus the log base 2 of 8. Um, hopefully you can see that fits the pattern of the uh, statement above. 32 is a number that's a product of 4 and 8. And it should be the case that the log base 2 of 32 is the same thing as the individual log base 2 of 4 plus the individual log base 2 of 8. Now let's work these out to uh, see if this actually gives us a true statement. So 2 to what power equals 32? If we think about that for a minute or two, you end up with 5. So 5 is the answer there. Uh, log base 2 of 4 is 2, and log base 2 of 8 is 3. And it does make sense that 5 equals 2 plus 3. Alright, the quotient rule is very similar. Uh, this one states that the log of a quotient is just the difference of the individual logs. I'm going to use the same numbers here and do log base 2 of 32 eighths, right? Which is really just the log base 2 of 4, right? And uh, that should be the log base 2 of 32 minus the log base 2 of 8, right? So, since this is log base 2 of 4, um, we know that the answer to that is 2. And individually, these are going to be 5 and 3. And when I subtract 5 and 3, I do, in fact, get 2. So just one example where that makes sense. I'll look at a few more examples coming up. All right, so typically we're going to use this rule actually to write multiple logarithms into a single log. So it's kind of the uh, backwards example of the last two. So notice here I have three logarithms. Uh, they're all of matching bases, and they're all being added together. And what that uh, product rule allows me to do is to write this kind of long expression with three logarithms as just a single logarithm. And since I'm adding the individual logs, uh, my single quantity here would be the product of all those numbers. So 16 times 8 times 2, which I think is 256. Okay, so you could plot your calculator or think about that a little bit, but um, that would be the single logarithm that's the equivalent to the in sum of the individual logs. Okay, down here at the bottom. Uh, I have another one. This one involves a subtraction sign, and so when I write my single logarithm, I'm going to take the first value, which is 50, and divide it by the second value, which is 2. And my base, I should put that in there, is 5, and so this is really the same thing as the log base 5 of 25. Um, this is kind of interesting that individually, you can't evaluate that in your head. You need a calculator. And you can't evaluate this in your head. You need a calculator. But when you combine them and come up with a single logarithm, you actually get an expression that you can evaluate. So we can go one step further and say that this is just 2, because 5 squared is 25. So again, sometimes it's advantageous to condense a uh, long expression into a single logarithm. All right, let's do two u-tries. Um, take this first expression here and see if you can write it as a single logarithm. Alright, hopefully you realize that you have three logarithms added together. If I want to condense that, it's going to be the log of the product of all three of those. So it would be log of 60. Okay, try, try the second one. 
All right, this one's a little different because you have both a plus and a minus. I'm going to do this in stages. So if I look at the first two problems alone, or sorry, the first two terms alone, it would be log base 2 of 40, right? That's the product rule. And then I have a subtraction log base 2 of 5. And so I would need to now do a second step and condense that, and that would be the log base 2 of 40 over 5, which is 8, and log base 2 of 8 is my final answer and that's again a value that I can or a logarithm that I can evaluate and I get a final final answer of 3 so again interesting that I can't really do uh, any of the individual logs I actually could do this one in the middle but um, my final answer um, I can evaluate after uh, putting those three logarithms together